So C Android 10.1 is released based on the latest version based on Android 14 and it is having the latest security patch which is January 2024 basically the first update in this in this year in 2024. We have this installed on our device and this is the official version. Some new changes are included. For example, one of the most awaited thing, which is app lock, some quick settings, header images and a lot more things. So stay tuned and make sure to watch this video till the end. We are going to talk about all of those things in this video. I would recommend you to like this video because this one like might help us a lot. Moving on to some of the things, firstly, as I just mentioned, the security update is January 2024. So the latest security patch is finally implemented and all the changes from the latest Google QPR are also merged here. Moving on to the security and privacy options, you will find App Locker, which is one of the main highlights of this update. So now you can finally use App Locker. It was already available in the default launcher, by the way, but because if you change the launcher, App Locker was not there. But now it's available in the system and you also have the ability to hide that particular app without simply locking that app for example if i open message if i don't enable the protection i can simply hide this app from the launcher and i think so it should work with the third party custom launchers too i'm not exactly sure but if you use custom launcher app locker will definitely work which was not available in the previous update because app locker was already available in the default launchers if you change launcher app locker was not going to work but in this case if this app locker is available in the system settings so that's a positive Another thing is the screenshot UI. So whenever you are taking screenshot, you are getting four actions right now, share, edit, delete, and Google Lens. These things were not available, I guess, because the, some things are available in the change log. That is what I'm sharing, with, I'm sharing with you. If I move on to this quick settings panel, you will see the screenshot preview. Screenshot preview is also there. So now you know that which kind of screenshot you just took might be a useful thing. I'm not exactly sure, but it's available here. One more thing is in the C-Adroid settings, quick settings, you will see header images. There are many header images options available for you. You can choose any one of them, but we also have the option to choose a custom header image in case you have from gallery, you can choose that. It's a good customization thing. I mean, if you love these kind of customizations, you might love this thing too. Love this update. Not exactly sure how many of you use the quick settings header images, but this option was present here. And I, of course, I just wanted to let you know. You can select the local image from gallery. You also have the option to adjust the opacity, height, width, padding, a lot more things which you can do by moving into the header image customization. This is about all the changes which are available with this new update. Other than else, this custom home is one of those custom home which brings you a lot of customizations. Moving into the customization section, you might find some status bar customizations, some useful features, of course, some quick settings customization. One of them is header images. You also have the option to customize the brightness slider things, the quick setting styles customization. For example, you can use Android 11 style quick settings panel in case you want. You just have to adjust the columns and rows. Including that, the quick settings panel also have a lot more things in lock screen customizations, navigation customization, almost every customization what you need is available here. The difference between this custom room and Evolution XOS or maybe some other custom rooms, some comparison videos I've already shared with you and a lot more other comparison videos are also coming very, very soon. So these were the things I just wanted to let you know. If you like this video, don't forget to drop a like. And if you're new here, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. I make videos regarding all the new updates for some particular custom rooms. So stay tuned. I will see you in the next one. Until then, goodbye and make sure to like this video. Goodbye.